this stupid rules. The video has the subtitle, please turn on captioning for better understanding. Why table tennis serving rules are not applied consistently? How are you? I'm M. Rathich. Table tennis is a sport of precision, skill, and intense mental focus. But in recent years, inconsistencies in applying serving rules have created a frustrating experience for players and fans alike. At the WTT Champions Frankfurt 2024, this issue has once again come to light, as we've seen several instances where the serving rules were not applied correctly, impacting the integrity of the game. The case of Lin Shidong's serve. During the event, Lin Shidong's serve drew attention for not meeting the requirements of a legal serve. According to the ITTF rules, a player must throw the ball vertically at least 16 centimeters before striking it. However, Lin's serve clearly violated this rule. He did not throw the ball straight up, yet the umpire did not call a fault. This is concerning because it's not an isolated case, but rather a recurring problem, especially when players adopt unorthodox or barely legal serving techniques that bend the rules. The umpire's decision to let this serve slide sends a mixed message to players and fans. By not enforcing the rules consistently, umpires create an environment where some players can exploit lenient officiating. Lin's serve, while clever, was a violation, and the fact that the umpire ignored it highlights a lack of accountability in enforcing the rules. Trolls Moragard versus Felix Lebron, a contrasting decision. Hello. Fox, three, six. In contrast, during the match between Trulls Moragard and Felix Lebron, the umpire called a fault on Trulls' serve, stating that it was not high enough and therefore not vertical enough. However, Moragard's toss was visibly above the minimum 16 centimeters required, and he threw it in a way that seemed to comply with the rulebook's verticality clause. This decision raises questions about the consistency and fairness of umpire judgments. Here, Moragard was penalized for what was a relatively minor deviation, if any, from the rules, while Lin Shidong faced no consequence for a more blatant infraction. This discrepancy leaves players frustrated as they cannot rely on uniform officiating across matches. The problem with the current rule application. The inconsistency in enforcing serving rules isn't just about one or two matches. It's an issue that permeates the game at various levels, especially in high-stakes WTT events. The serving rule requires players to throw the ball vertically, at least 16 centimeters, with no obstructing hand or body movements that could hide the serve. However, in practice, umpires' interpretations of these rules vary widely, leading to different calls on similar serves. This lack of uniformity is problematic for several reasons. Inconsistent standards. When rules are applied inconsistently, players don't know what to expect. One umpire might call a serve illegal, while another might let it go depending on their own interpretation. Frustration and distrust. Players lose trust in the officiating system when they see competitors getting away with illegal serves, while they themselves are penalized for minor infractions. The service, nine, two. Fox, 
Sports 360. Impact on fair play. Inconsistent calls can affect the outcome of a match, especially in close games where every point counts. A missed call on an illegal serve can give one player an unfair advantage over their opponent. Why this matters for table tennis. For a sport aiming to grow its global audience, these inconsistent officiating practices are a barrier. Fans want to see fair play, and players want a level playing field. When umpire calls are inconsistent, it diminishes the credibility of the game and creates an impression that rules are selectively enforced. The table tennis community needs transparency and reliability in officiating, particularly in high profile tournaments like the WTT champions. This situation is frustrating and not only for players, but also for those who follow the sport and respect its principles. Read more about table tennis on my blog, pingsunday.com. Get free ebook and coaching advices. See you in the next video.